Welcome to episode 4 of Boston Swap, a direct for football challenge here on Boston United FM. Boston United of Conference North and Boston Town of the United Counties League have been switched in the non-league football pyramid. I have taken over at United to hopefully guide them back up the divisions. However, my board have installed a perfect director of football to take over club transfers, scouting and backroom staff. In the previous episode, we progressed in the FA Vars with a win over Bemerton Heath Harlequins, but then narrowly lost out in the FA Cup away at National League side Chorley by a goal to nil. We've played a lot of football since then and we've actually lost a game in the league. The very next match after the Chorley defeat, we lost away at OB Town. We're unbeaten since then, including the FA Vars, as we are now at round four. In this video, we start with a trip to Hinkley to play Leicester Road, who are in Midland League Division 1. This will be followed by an away game at Lincolnshire Neighbours Deeping Rangers, who are second in the league. We had a miraculous 5 all draw with them at York Street just a few games ago. We're 12 points clear of Deeping Rangers, who are another 3 points clear of 3rd place Loughborough University. Deeping actually went on a longer and beaten run than we did, having only lost to Anstey Nomads in their last game. In Conference North, Boston Town are still yet to win a game, and have only picked up 3 points so far. They've drawn with Curzon Ashton, Farsley Celtic and Hereford. Mr Transfer Genius, my director of football, has kept signing more players for the club, despite the fact that nobody is leaving. He has put us above our wage budget. Midfielder Smith came in on a free and actually scored a hat-trick against Deeping in the 5 all draw. Burgess, a centre-half, has also come in on a free and we've signed a Forey, a right-winger, on loan from Wealdston. The biggest signing of all, though, happened only yesterday in-game. French international defender Pascal Chimbonda has come in on a free from Ashton Town. For the game against Leicester Road, which is in the last 32 of the FA Vars, Chimbonda goes straight into the team at the heart of the defence. Smith plays in central midfield too, and Afori is on the right wing as an inside forward. Bragg up front is still scoring goals with 29 in all competitions so far. Right, let's get this game underway. Let's have one more step towards Wembley. They're playing a 3-5-2, which is not something we've come across too often this season. Hopefully our 4-2-3-1 that we've been entrusted with all season will come out on top. Right, we've got a corner early on. Goes in and we've scored. Josh King up from centre half. Nods in the corner. Bragg gets another set piece assist. And we go 1-0 up. Six yards out. Pretty much into the top corner. Keeper no chance. They've got a goal kick. They've launched it forward. But King is there again with a header. Minshew's trying to get the ball back. But they've lofted the ball over for Reed, And keeper Brannigan has tipped it over for a corner. Corner comes in. Goes to the far post. But it's nodded clear by Barkers. Masungu, the left wing back. He's now in a right wing position and he's been fouled. They've got a free kick just inside their own half. Lofted forward again. It's Langham. He's through on goal. But Brannigan comes out and smothers. Well, it's half time. We're ahead. 1-0. It's probably been quite even in terms of chances. They've had a couple of one-on-ones. But we've got the goal from the corner. We've had 60% of the possession, so we're doing pretty well with the ball. Looking at the team, though, Josh King, the goal scorer, has picked up a knock, but I did watch his fitness slowly creep back up again, so we're not going to take him off just yet. It's a foot injury, and the Kavanagh has picked up a book in. But for now, we'll keep an eye on some of the players, but we're just going to go into the second half. Got a throw in on the right hand side. It's with Hilton. Back to Kavanagh. Goes down that right wing. Tries to get the ball forward but doesn't. They're dilly dallying about. It's with Minchel just inside the box. But it's put round the post for a corner. Bragg with the corner. Goes near post again. But it's cleared. It's Olcott. 
but he was offside. Well, I think we make our first change now. I'm going to keep King out there. He's pretty much on a level fitness-wise with everybody else. So I'm going to take Minchel off, bring Landim on, on that left-hand side. I'm wary about bringing maybe Masungo off as well. Let's bring Leggett on, on that left-hand side of defence. Another long throw, goes absolutely nowhere, but can we get the ball back? We can, Hilton's got it. Driving forward, there's a four, he's trying to get into the air, he gives it to Bragg inside the box, but again it's tipped round the post. Another corner. Near post again, but it's cleared, but just outside the box with Smith, to King, back to Smith, back to King, but we lose it. Right, free kick towards, towards Bragg, but he misses out. But Landon picks it back up again. It's with Hilton over the top for a four. What's he going to do? He's going to cut inside, but he loses it. It's gone out to Kavanagh. He's now driving in the box, and Landon nods it, and it's gone in the corner. That should be the game. It's 2-0 to Boston. Just seven or so minutes to go. A four -y driving in. It got blocked. Kavanagh foot. I'm just going to drive it. Gets it to the far post, Landim gets his head on it, nods it down, and it's in just inside the corner. Just going to make a change in the middle. Hallam can come on for Smith, and hopefully we'll see out the rest of the game. And that's the final whistle. We do win two goals to nil. Utterly deserved. 61% possession, 19 shots, 8 on target. And we are through to the 5th round. So King actually damaged his heel in that match. He's going to be out for 2 or 3 weeks. Maybe it wasn't worth keeping him on. But Chimbond is here. Made his debut. We got a 7.3. So we've got to be really happy with that. Just under £2,000 in prize money. Let's skip forward to the draw. Chimbonda's appearance at the age of 40. He's nearly 41. It's a new team record. He's our oldest ever Boston United player. Another player that's rejected a team's advances. Not a lot of the players are leaving at the moment. We've got a few on the transfer list, but they keep rejecting offers from other clubs. And here we go, the fifth round draw. So there's this is going to be the last 16. So we're getting to the business end of the competition. But we've got Racing Club Warwick of the Midland League. Hashtag United are still in. So there is a possibility of playing them. But there's the confirmation. Racing Club Warwick away. So they are fourth in the Midland League. There are no pushovers but we'll have to be confident of progressing, hopefully, into the quarterfinals. Right, let's skip forward to the next match day for Deeping Rangers away. And with King injured for this game, Johnston just comes into the side. That's the only change we've made. They're playing a 4-4-2. As I say, they're second in the league. They're our closest rivals, but they're still quite a few points behind be nice to get another victory and just confirm our place at the top. Right, we've got the ball at the back, launched forward towards, I think that was our attacking midfielder, but Bragg's got it on the left, tries to come inside, but we lose out, but there's Hilton, he gets it back and he scores. 1-0 to United, nice bit of pressing football there. Bragg gets it, loses the ball, but we're in on them like a flash. Hilton nips in and left-footed slots it into the corner. Right, we've got a free kick outside the box. This is basically Bragg's specialities. I think we've scored six direct free kicks. Make that seven. It's his 30th goal of the season. Just his left foot from about 25 yards is absolutely brilliant. 
Well, it's 2-0 half-time. We scored a couple of goals. But, to be fair, it's been without a scare. If we check our players, so chimbonda has been booked for the second game in a row. Barker, the ball winning midfield, he's been booked as well. So we've just got to keep an eye on those two players, just in case we need to take them off. But, as it stands... We'll keep it as it is. We'll go into the second half and hopefully keep a clean sheet, which will mean we get the victory. Well, we've got an immediate highlight, which I'm not sure is a good thing, unless we're going to win the ball back. It's gone back all the way to their keeper. Launched it out towards that left-hand side. They're passing the ball about nicely, but we've got the ball back again through Hilton. Gives it to Bragg. And it's an easy tap-in. It's 3-0. 30-odd seconds into the second half. Bragg gets his 31st goal of the season. Broadhurst just caught on the ball. Hilton's on him like a flash. Passes the ball inside. Very unselfish. They've got a corner. And it's been headed in. Fraser Papril. It's the first highlight they've had all game. It's been chipped in. And it's a header, what, 10 yards out? And it's gone past the keeper. Right, are we going to steal the ball back off them again? They've launched the ball forward. Hilton's on the attack again. Gives it to Bragg. Through for his hat trick. Oh, he's hit the post. I think it was tipped onto the post. OK, there's 25 minutes to go. I think what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to put Jim Bonda out at fullback. Take Kavanagh off and bring Rollins on. Right, long ball upfield goes nowhere. Same for them. But this time it has gone over the top for Bragg, but he's put it wide. And I think it's now time to bring Landim on again. He did score in the last game. We're lucky not to start, really. But he can come on for Minchel. Right, last 10 minutes. I think we're going to take Barkers off the ball-winning midfielder. We're going to bring Hallam on. It's just really a choice of who plays in that ball-winning midfield role. So Hallam's got 10 tackling, 8 work rate. So he's probably not going to be him. But then he's got worse tackling, Smith, for a higher work rate. I think I'm going to leave them as they are. Let Hallam play as that ball winning midfielder. He's only young. He can learn. And we get the victory by three goals to one. Another deserved win. Another game where we've had 60% possession. And a victory against our closest challengers and local rivals. Looking at the table, we are now 15 points clear. I believe there are only 38 games in this season. So we've got 14 games to go and we're 15 points clear. Brad got man of the match for his two goals. One of which was an absolutely fantastic free kick. And we've now made it 12 unbeaten. Looking at the fixtures going forward, we have got the fifth round of the FA Vars in early February. If we do get through that and then the next round, I believe that the semi-finals are two legs and both at the end of March. That might be a perfect time to come back for the next episode. Otherwise, we'll look to come back potentially for a title winning game sometime in March or April. If you've enjoyed the content of this video, please don't forget to leave a like. And for more videos please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.